Does this count as a chat? We're chatting about goals today. Welcome everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful 2024 so far. This is my first video of the year, so that's my first chance to say that. And we are already almost done with January. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I was going to do the thing where I talked about all of the projects that I finished in 2023. Um, and I tried it and it was just a little too long winded. And so rather than spend 20 minutes talking about things you may have already seen before, I thought I would just take two minutes and create a little montage so that I could share a quick little roundup of all of the projects I finished in 2023. If there is anything you would like more details on, you can of course find links to the videos or uh, Ravelry links in a couple of instances in the description box below. So let's have a quick look at my past year, craft by craft, and afterwards I'll meet you right back here and we'll talk about my goals for 2024. I'll be back in two and two. So first off, creating that was like a major confidence boost. In a year where I felt like I didn't achieve anything, I had so many things go off the rails, it makes me feel really accomplished to see it all put together like that. Um, even though I didn't do half of the things that I wanted to do. So I feel really pleased to see that I did in fact finish a fair number of things. One of my biggest takeaways is that 2023 was the year of the garment for me. I made my first ever garment, a giant coat. I made two more tops. I made my first crochet sweater ish thing. I knit my first pair of socks and I did actually knit my first sweater. Um, hi buddy. But, um, it's not actually done. So it's not in the montage. Um, we will talk about that in a second. Um, but all of the primary knitting is done on my first sweater, so it still counts as being a first for 2023. So let's talk about goals. Often I let my goals kind of live in some amorphous cloud in the back of my mind. Uh, I might know what they are, but I don't typically pin them down. This year I'm going to try and put my goals on solid ground, so I thought I would outline them all here for you. Of course, this isn't everything that I hope to achieve or make this year. These are kind of the broader goals that everything else is going to try and flow around. Some of them are going to be too big. Like I'm not going to be able to do 
every single thing on this list of goals, but as long as I'm moving towards them, I think I'll count that as a success at the end. How much are you seeing of him? Are you even seeing like anything? Say hi. Are you even in camera? I can't tell. Okay, so on that note, let's dive in. Goal number one, finish things. You lay down? Okay, well now they definitely can't see you. Of course, finishing things is like an eternal goal. It's like always the thing, but um, it is rather specific in this case because, um, how do I say this? <laughs> I'm still finishing Christmas presents. Craftmas kind of took over my life in December and I didn't really have a lot of time for non-video projects. One of the people is my little brother and I saw him in mid-December so I kind of I missed that deadline right away. I had to give him one sock for Christmas um, and then I didn't even let him keep it and I probably could finish up the second sock. It's like halfway done. I could probably finish it in like a week but I've been focusing on, since I already saw him, I've been focusing on a different present. It's a self-drafted cross stitch that um, I thought I could do in like a week or two. It turns out it's probably the biggest thing I've ever stitched and it is taking forever. <sighs> I am really cross stitched out at this point. And it doesn't help that I am a really slow cross stitcher. There are actually also three other Christmas presents I wanted to make that I haven't even started yet. Um, one of them may not happen because it is a Christmas ornament. Um, it's not gonna make sense to give this late. Um, the second one is a knit project that will probably just turn into a birthday present. And then the third thing is for a friend who doesn't care when I give him the things. And um, it is actually one you will see on this channel because it is a very retro craft, but you won't see it until he gets it, um, which might not be till March. <laughs> at this rate. There's also still the matter of my box of I don't wanna, which was the subject of my New Year's video last year. I have managed to complete, I think, two of those projects. My crochet sweater and my black cat were both from that box. I can't remember if there was a third or not. And I have done a few stitches on one of the pieces in there, but it would be really nice to clear out a little bit more space in that box and, um, yeah, there are some other whips that, you know, I want to finish, but they're kind of a normal priority, not a goal setting. I need to tackle this project kind of thing. So hi, buddy. It's a shame they can't see you because you're so sweet right now. Hi. Yeah. Come up here. Let them see you. <gasps> Let them see you. Hi, sweet boy. Yeah, there he is. Hi, you're being so snuggly. For a boy who doesn't come to bed anymore. Ow! Really? <sighs> okay. Goal number two. Finally, make my dang Barbie outfit. <laughs> I have been talking about this for months. I first had the notion, I think last February, and started collecting materials for it, and then I was going to do it over to the summer, and... Then I had to put it on pause when the actor strike happened just because there happened to be a movie. Um, and then, you know, other things and then uh, Christmas. So yeah, I'm finally gonna get back to that. I haven't mentioned which Barbie outfit I'm making and I'm still gonna save that for a surprise. <laughs> I can tell you it is going to look ridiculous on me and it may be relegated to Halloween, but uh, I don't care. I still want to make it. Um, all right, are you going to go? You should go. I was originally going to post the videos uh, in succession. I think now I will probably alternate between a Barbie video and a non-Barbie video until the project is completed. There are going to be six pieces in this Barbie outfit. I'm not sure if they'll each have their own video. A couple of them might not really be enough to stand on their own as a video. I can tell you that the first piece is the aforementioned sweater that I have completed the primary knitting on. Um, 
but it's not assembled because there's a large graphic on the sweater that I will need to do in duplicate stitch. I have never done that before, so I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, so I can't promise when that first video will be out, but at least now I can actually finally prioritize getting it done. The outfit will also consist of a crochet piece, which I could have knit, but you know, it's a multi-crafting channel, so I thought the variety would be nice. And there are three sewn garments. One will use an 80s pattern. Another I'm going to self-draft based on the actual Barbie garment and then I need a pair of pants so I'm probably just gonna like trace some that kind of fit me already um they're just really simple those are the ones they might not get their own video um and then of course there is being Barbie there are earrings to match and I'm gonna have to get a little crafty with those okay goal number three do more needlepoint for as much as I love needlepoint I never seem to be able to make the time for it. It always seems to take a back seat on this channel. And there are a few reasons for that, in part because a lot of my needlepoint pieces are rather large, so they take a long time. Um, and also my stretcher bars aren't big enough and I don't yet have a scroll frame. I would need a stand and I don't really have a good place to set that up. Plus the stand I have is really wobbly and annoying. So there's that aspect to why I haven't really been doing a lot. Also, I do like my videos to have some kind of angle on them. You may have noticed, like, I only have three cross-stitch videos, but each one of them has some unique aspect to the origin of the pattern or the, you know, materials involved. Um, but all of my needlepoint stuff is pretty much just straightforward stitching. So I've had a little trouble figuring out the best way to make that entertaining for you, um, especially since I know not many of you are likely into needlepoint um and my goal is kind of to expose more people to it to the beauty of it it's in my opinion more fun than cross stitch because it's it's very similar but you have the advantage of additional stitches that you can do and it's just a lot more textural and i think it's fun that way so if you have any thoughts on what you would like to see from a needlepoint video feel free to let me know. I really, really want to get more of my needlepoint pieces worked on this year, but I have decided that I can start with a stitch along. Okay, I'm not very well versed in the machinations of a stitch along. I, I've never done one. I've never done a make along of any kind, so I don't necessarily know how they work, but uh, I think I can figure something out that hopefully will be beneficial to all involved. Um, so for a couple of years now, I've been trying to design my own patterns. And for where Needlepoint is concerned, largely inspired by 80s Memphis design. And so I've got a piece that's, it's pretty basic, but, um, and basically some large color blocks. I think it would be great as a sampler. So we can do it together, one stitch at a time. You can learn Needlepoint stitches along with me, or because it's just a graph, gridded graph pattern, you can also use it for cross stitch or tapestry crochet or duplicate stitch or whatever other craft you use a graph for. So I do think that we forget about the universality of these patterns sometimes. My plan is to make teeny tiny little videos, um, one for each stitch and to release them in addition to my usual content, um, which is my usual goal of two videos a month, which doesn't always happen. I'm not sure of the frequency of these videos, but I will provide the pattern for free. I'll probably put it up on my Ko-fi page, which exists, but I have never mentioned it before. I, I set it up when I first had this idea and then didn't follow through. So I've never really talked about it before, but that's probably where it will go. If you are interested in this idea and you have any thoughts on the matter, feel free to let me know them down in the comments below. And on a related note, goal number five is release more patterns and open my Kofi shop. <laughs> um, I'm probably not going to go so far as like all out Etsy, that kind of thing. I'm not going to be that prolific. I'm much too slow, but I have quite a few ideas that I'd really love to make some progress on um, and 
kind of lumped in with that goal, although it's not really related. It's still the same kind of thing. I've also been working on creating like some print on demand designs. Um, but this is just a side note. It's not really the same because they're like, they're not craft based, you know, designs. Goal number five, knit an 80s sweater. Over the past year or so, I have amassed a dozen sweaters worth of yarn. And a lot of that is actually vintage yarn. And I've also acquired quite a few 80s sweater patterns. And I'm really, really, really excited to like, I want to make them all. I see all these 80s sweaters and I just, I want to make them all. I'm not sure which one I'll do first. I might even do a knitting plans video and you can help me decide which one to do. There are a couple that I have the 80s yarn and the 80s pattern that go together. And so I think that'll be really fun. And then goal number six is related to that again, which is to make more clothes. Um, I had far more plans in the past year for things I wanted to make that I just didn't have the brain space or the time for. More specifically, in addition to my yarn stash, my vintage yarn stash that I've ac accumulated, I also have a fair number, not a lot, but a decent number of vintage fabric. Now a lot of it is kind of precious and needs to be for the right project. There are some fabrics that are decidedly earmarked for very specific things. There's one that I bought that's oh, it would just make a really fantastic 70s dressing gown. I've got a Hawaiian print that of course will need to be a Hawaiian shirt. Um, but basically these things are earmarked for clothing items that I do not yet have the skill to make. So my goal is not to make those, but to figure out what pieces I should make in order to build the relevant skills. So that's my goal um, for making clothes is not only the clothes that I want to make that are simple. There are some like simple tops that I just, I need, I can't find them in stores. And so I just need to figure out how to make them myself. But um, also in order to level up my skills so I can make those those bigger goals that I have. Goal number seven is to continue exploring craft fairs. I made a video looking for craft fair ideas. Um, I kind of have a feeling that this is going to be a long shot for me just because I am a slow crafter. I don't know that I will ever be able to make anything quickly enough um, or efficiently enough or regularly enough. <laughs> to have an inventory required for a craft fair. But I do want to keep exploring and there are a couple things that I really want to make and try to make in quantity so I can see how long they take um, and try and figure out if that's ever going to be a possibility. And then of course the, you know, logistics of what I would need to do one and all of that. So that's kind of a whole great big thing. And that is I'm guessing knowing myself that is not something that is going to come to fruition this year, but I hope to still kind of tick off a lot more boxes on that path to figuring out how to do craft fairs. Goal number eight. This one is actually probably going to be the hardest one for me. Social media. I don't know what it is, but I've just always been really terrible at maintaining social media. For some reason, it is easier for me to produce and edit and post a video than to remember to put that photo on Instagram. And then I, I started Reddit because I thought, oh, well, this will be a little bit easier because, well, I was having trouble with the Instagram app for a long time. Um, but then on Reddit, like each subreddit has its own rules. And then there's certain things you can't post and certain things you can only post on certain days. And it's just like, yeah, I get overwhelmed trying to figure out social media. But my goal for this year is to improve. The reason this is on this list, even though it's not a craft in itself, is that I recognize how important it is for crafters to connect. And I'm not putting this as a separate goal because it's not necessarily in my control, but I would really like to reach 1,000 subscribers this year. Um, and hello to all of my new subscribers. I hit 500 over the holidays and felt really, really nice. And I'm so, so glad you're here. And I hope I continue to make things that you like because I know most of you came from like one video. <laughs> so I hope you'll stick around. Um, 
But yeah, I would really like to reach a thousand this year and I'm probably going to need social media in order to do it. Hi. I am well aware that this channel, because of my multitude of crafts and my sort of cross-sectional niche of late century vintage, it was always going to take a while for my audience to find me. And there's probably a smaller audience for my content in general. Like, I've always known this. But, you know, it has taken a while, um, a little longer than I'd like for that audience to find me. So I may need to go find them. And I think social media is sadly going to be required for that. So I have set up a new Instagram, which I was, I tried to do last year and it, it was a mess and it wouldn't give me the account. So I just ended up tacking it onto my personal account. There's Retro Craft Dreams and Ether Pie is my personal one. It's my kind of broad company name that I've always used. I signed up for Mastodon, which I also thought would be really easy to post because like it's inconsequential and yet there's nobody there. So it's kind of hard to motivate myself to like bother posting. Um, I have my Reddit, I have Ravelry, I have Pinterest, which I never use, but I added a whole bunch of stuff to last year when I set up my, this channel. What is there? Um, I have a Facebook page, which I really, right now, I'm only posting new videos on. I will not be using Twitter because it's not Twitter anymore. Um, so don't worry about that. I will not be on that platform. I'm having trouble finding good people to follow. If you have any recommendations or want to leave your own handle down below, uh, feel free to do that and I can come give you a follow. I'm especially looking for, you know, good crafty stuff, but also good retro stuff. So yeah, there we go. But the side note on this goal is I started off like with a, like making a content plan for when to post stuff and I've already fallen off it. <laughs> like I've already gone like a week now without posting anything anywhere and oh this this one's gonna be the hardest one on my list so I will try. I don't know why I'm so bad at it but I will try. And if you come find me on any of these platforms maybe it will give me reason to do better. Goal number 10 is put up a website. I actually bought the domain a year ago because I already have other domains and hosting and it was easy to just go ahead and pick up the domain, but I hadn't put anything on it. Um, don't go there now. It's, it's, it's a mess. <laughs> or if you go there now, like just, it might change second to second. It's not really a vital task. It doesn't have any particular function at this point in time to have a website. Um, but I just really like the idea of being able to put everything in one place. I can make posts for every project I've ever made. I can have pages about different books from my craft library. I can, you know, have inspiration images posted in some way, shape or form. And yes, eventually there may be a shop should I ever succeed in making one. So I really um, want to at least get the framework set up for having that website there. And plus, you know, I bought it and I'm paying hosting. Oh no, it's because I, one of my domains I have an email address for. <laughs> and so I don't want to lose that email because I use it for a lot of things. Um, so I had to keep paying hosting anyway. So I'm like, I may as well throw this up on there. And then goal number 10, organize my craft supplies or rather finish organizing them because they are still in disarray from my move a whole year ago. Um, I can't find anything anymore and it's driving me crazy, but I don't, I don't know that I've had several times where I start to organize and I think, oh, I should film it and bring you along with me. But then I get stuck. Like, what was it? Well, I bought a new cabinet and I started filming that whole process of cleaning out the cabinet and organizing it. And then I realized I needed to make some kind of dividers for a space in this cabinet. And I haven't been able to find the materials that I want for that, if they even exist. And so it just kind of stopped. The whole project just stopped. But then I've also got plans for cleaning up and restoring a lot of vintage like container items, because that's actually one of my favorite things to organize in. Old sewing boxes and things like that. Hello, cat. Don't you, don't you bump my camera. Pixel, come over here. No, 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 no. <sighs> Cat. 
cat rubs up against everything. So there are 10 really big goals that I've got for the year. I, there's no way I'm achieving all of these, but as I said, as long as I make some progress on each and kind of maintain some level of focus on these areas, I think I will still count it as a success. Do you have any crafty goals for 2024? Let me know down in the comments below. Stick around for my next video. I don't know what it will be. No, I have an idea. I don't have, I can't do a big project just yet until I finish goal number one. That one is vital. I have to finish goal number one of finishing Christmas presents. Um, so I'm trying not to start in on a big project for this channel yet until at least that cross stitch piece is done very very close um and if you're curious about it i will try to post it on social media <laughs> i guess that's it this has been probably a little longer than i want so i am really glad i went with the montage for last year's projects have a wonderful day happy crafting and i'll see you next time bye